Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you can use the payroll features of QuickBooks, you must first set up payroll for your company in QuickBooks. To find out how to do this, select Employees, then Payroll, then turn on Payroll in QuickBooks from the menu bar. In the window that appears, you can evaluate the payroll plans and purchase a payroll plan through QuickBooks to begin the setup of your initial payroll data. Now after you have purchased a payroll plan, you can set up basic payroll information by selecting Employees from the menu bar and then choosing the Payroll Setup command. You then use the QuickBooks Payroll Setup Wizard to input the information that QuickBooks will need to know to begin processing payroll for your company file. QuickBooks uses tax tables that come with your payroll subscription to calculate employee payroll. QuickBooks calculates each employee's gross pay, taxes, deductions, and net pay. In QuickBooks, you can write the paycheck, record the transactions for the correct amounts, print payroll forms, and keep track of your tax liabilities. Now, as an employer, you must subtract taxes and other deductions before issuing employee paychecks. Some typical paycheck deductions are federal and state withholding taxes, or income taxes, Social Security taxes, or FICA, Medicare taxes, and state unemployment insurance. You may also deduct for benefits such as a 401k plan or contributions to your company's medical or dental plan. When you withhold Social Security, Medicare, and federal withholding taxes from employee paychecks, you must submit regular deposits of the withheld money and file quarterly forms that list the amounts withheld from each employee's paycheck. Let's review the payroll process and the steps you must complete to do payroll in QuickBooks. First, you'll need to enter information about your company. This includes information about your federal and state tax ID numbers. This information is entered when you set up your QuickBooks company. To view company information, you can select Company, then roll down to My Company and click that command from the menu bar in QuickBooks 2015 through 2014 or you can select Company and then choose the Company Information command from the menu bar if you're using QuickBooks 2013. Then you need to enter information about your employees. The QuickBooks Employees list stores general information about employees and specific information related to payroll, such as the employee's salary or hourly rate, filing status, number of exemptions, and miscellaneous additions, deductions, and company contributions. You can store payroll information that most employees have in common in your employee defaults. Then, whenever you have a new employee to add, you simply need to enter information that's specific to that new employee. You'll also need to enter information about your payroll items. In QuickBooks, you maintain a payroll item list that contains items that affect the amounts on a paycheck, including company payroll expenses. When you specify that you want to use payroll, QuickBooks creates most payroll items for you, but you can add others if needed. You'll also need the tax tables for federal, state, and local withholdings. QuickBooks uses tax tables for payroll calculations. You get the current tax tables and keep them current when you subscribe to one of the QuickBooks payroll plans. If you choose not to subscribe to one of these plans, you must calculate and enter payroll tax deductions manually for each paycheck. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.